So recently I took a picture of a beautiful target and I know this is not an adventure in a desert, like we don't drive out there and film it and camp on the spot. And I'm sorry because I know you guys are missing those videos, uh, but honestly since we've been having a telescope installed at uh, Utah Desert Remote Observatories, uh, it's been a blessing so far. So we'll try to do more uh, adventure in the wild videos next year hopefully, but um, we've been enjoying it so far doing remote. So we've been focusing on not capturing as many targets as we can, but rather on spending a ton of time on a few select targets. And we love every single picture we took so far at UDRO and really enjoyed the challenge of imaging very faint stuff that's usually hidden uh, behind a few of the less exciting objects out there. So far, our largest image has been a 2x2 two two mosaic of Ruofuchi, which looks, in my opinion, incredible. Uh, we used the Raza 8 and the A-Side 2600MC, meaning the total size of this 4-panel mosaic is well, technically 104 megapixels, but after cropping and after the overlaps, it ended up being 84 uh, megapixels. And if you don't know how to calculate your megapixels uh, for an image, you can just uh, multiply the width and the height in pixels and then divide by 1 million. That's how you know how big your image is. So the next step would be to go from a four panel mosaic to, well, a six panel, right? So I was looking for a good target that would fit just right in a three by three mosaic and decided to go for the Heidi's. Yes, this will for sure not be as impressive or colorful as Rofuchi, but if we do it right, we'll be able to reveal the insane IFN in the background here and there. Because I know there is some, for sure. So I decided that spending about 8 hours on each panel would be ideal, so I set up the sequence in Nina, and this is what it looked like. So a bit of a mess, uh, but whenever a panel would be complete, which usually would take between 1 and 3 clear nights, uh, I would just delete that tab, so the sequencer would get less and less messy over time. Uh, and you can see here what my framing looked like. Six panels is just perfect enough to include all of the high disk cluster with a crop sensor camera and the Raza 8. So processing was of course also messy. Uh, I ended up with hundreds of files and I ended up keeping just the best 96 per panel, which equaled to 576 frames um, overall. So I went through the typical mosaic creation workflow in PixInsight and by the way, I have a, a tutorial for this online if you're interested in, in making mosaics. Um, and processing overall was very fun. Look at all this dust, it's just insane. And I am so happy with how much I was able to reveal without going too crazy. So I hope you guys like this image. Uh, it's so far the biggest one we've made. Uh, the total size for this, if I didn't crop or overlap, would have been 144 megapixels. But after cropping and all the overlaps of the uh, panels, it ended up being 118 uh, megapixels. So next, I think we'll try a 4x4 mosaic, but this time with our full frame camera, so it's going to be even much, much bigger. Honestly, I doubt that my computer is going to handle uh, a 4x4 full frame mosaic, but we'll see. Um, so check out the blog post, it's in the link below. And uh, we also have a raw data available uh, for a section of this image, and included is also a full uh, 4K video um, that shows you how to process an image with a lot of hidden IFN. So if you want to learn how to process and reveal uh, IFN specifically, you can get that video because it's very useful and also includes the raw data. So I'll see you guys next time and clear skies.